And now let's talk about the Balmer series. The Balmer series of jumps in the hydrogen atom are those electron jumps that come from higher orbits all the way down to the second orbit. They stop there, they don't go down to the first orbit, or any electron jumps from the second orbit onto higher orbits. Those are called the Balmer series of jumps. And they're very special jumps because these will either emit or absorb photons in the visible light range, and you'll see in just a moment why that is so. Well, first of all, we have to again find the energy, uh, the energies of the various energy levels. We don't have to start at n equals one because no electrons are going to jump there. So starting from n equals two, we can see that n sub two is equal to one over two squared times minus 13.6 electron volts, and that would be equal to minus 3.4 electron volts. The energy of the third level is equal to 1 over 3 squared times minus 13.6 electron volts, which is minus 1.51 electron volt. The jump to the fourth level is equal to 1 over, <coughs> excuse me, that would be uh, 4 squared, which um, nope, times uh, minus 13.6 electron volts, which is um, minus 0 0.85 electron volts. And finally, the energy level of the fifth level is 1 over 5 squared times minus 13.6 electron volts, which is, and I can't quite remember that one, so let's figure that one out. 13.6 divided by uh, 25 is, yes, a minus 0 0.544 electron volts. All right, so those are the energy levels of energy level 2 through 5. Now, what are the differences between energy levels? Because, again, the energy of the photon that's emitted is equal, exactly equal, I should say, to the energy difference between those two levels or those two levels or these two levels, depending upon where the electron came from. Likewise, for the electron to, <coughs> for the electron to jump up to higher energy levels, it needs to absorb a photon of that exact energy difference between those levels. So let's figure those out. So the energy difference, the delta E, going from, let's say, uh, from 3 to 2 is equal to... Um, uh, 3.4 minus 1.51, so 3.4 minus 1.51 is uh, 1.89 electron volts. The energy difference between level 4 and 2 is equal to uh, 3.4 minus uh, 0 0.85, and that would be uh, 2, no not 2, yeah, 2 point. 5, 5 electron volts, because the energy level, of course, gets bigger and bigger as we come from higher and higher orbits. And then the energy level from 5 to 2 is equal to 3.4 minus um, 0 0.544, which would be equal to 2.856 electron volts. And let me check that real quick. 2.856 plus... 0.544 is 3.4. That's correct. So here we, get, we have the, din, the difference in the energy between two, uh, 3 and 2, 4 and 2, and 5 and 2 in the hydrogen atom. So now we're going to find what photon will be emitted when an electron does jump from the third to the second, from the fourth to the second, from the fifth to the second. All right. So we know that the energy of a photon is equal to the Planck's constant times the frequency, which is equal to hc over lambda. And then calculating, oh, that's a terrible looking lambda. That's what I get for trying to write a little too fast. There we go. Now, calculating uh, or solving that for lambda, lambda is equal to hc over the energy level. And so h being 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds. Multiply the times the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second and dividing it by the energy difference. So now what we're looking for is the energy between 3 and 2 and the corresponding wavelength of that photon so that the energy difference is 1.89 electron volts. And then we multiply that time, of course, we have to convert that from electron volts to joules. So 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules per one electron volt. All right, let's see what kind of photon we get from that particular jump. So 6.626 e to the 34 minus uh, times 3 e to the 8 divided by 1.89 and divided by 1.6 e to the 19 minus equals and it's 657.3, 657.3 nanometers. 
right? That falls right inside the range of visible light, which is from 400 to 700 nanometers. 67.3 is closer to 700, so that looks like it would be about a reddish color. So that photon would be red. The light coming from the electron jumps, when the electron jumps from the third down to the second level, is red visible light. Okay, doing the same for going from 4 to 2. So lambda going from 4 to 2. The only thing that changes is the energy difference. So it'd be 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds times the speed of light. And all divided by the energy difference. In this case, it's 2.55 electron volts and 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules per electron volt. All right, if we calculate that one, what do we get? And it looks like 487.2 electron volts. 487.2, oh, not electron volts, but nanometers. We're talking about the wavelength of, uh, of light here. So that looks more in the range of the blue light. Turns out, if you look at that, it looks kind of like turquoise blue. So kind of a blue-green color. Okay, the next one would be the jump from 5 to 2. Lambda from 5 to 2, and again we would do exactly the same except instead of 2.55 electron volt difference we use 2.856, so times 2.55 divided by 2.856 equals, that would be 435 electron, uh, again I say electron volts, I meant uh, nanometers. So notice that is fairly close to 400 nanometers, so that would be kind of in the purplish color, so let's call that purple. And of course, we can continue on like that. Now, it turns out if we start looking at energy difference from the 7th and 8th and 9th down to the second level, I think we might just barely jump over the border of visible light and get into the UV range there. So the very high energy jumps in the Balmer series could still be UV, um, but we won't get into that at this point. So again, the Balmer series of jumps is simply electrons that jump from higher orbits down to the second energy level or from the second energy level up to the higher orbits. If they fall down, they emit a photon of a particular wavelength. If, they are, if electrons jump up, they must absorb a photon with the exact amount of energy required to get to that next level. And that, of course, has those corresponding wavelengths. And that's how you deal with the bomber series of jumps.